The EAS GNC Live Well 300 is brought to you by General Nutrition Centers. Live Well with GNC, the official vitamin store of NASCAR. And by Suzuki, maker of innovative motorcycles and all-terrain vehicles. There'll be 15 laps to go at Daytona. In the NASCAR Bush Series portion of Speed Weeks 2002, Dale Earnhardt Jr. on quite old tires compared to those that are chasing him. He's got to try and hold off Jimmy Spencer and Michael Waltrip. A green flag. I think Spencer's going to try to make a move quick because I think he knows Michael's going to drop him as soon as he can. You see Jimmy lay back just a little bit to one car. Spencer trying to get him a good run off that second corner and make the move on the backstretch. Stacy Compton in the 59 is the first car one lap down to the inside. He's in 23rd place. And that could mess up Jimmy Spencer's plan. Is that Jimmy Spencer saying he's got a flat? It is. Here comes Michael Waltrip to his inside. Spencer's going to slide up the track, Dave. Allen. Jimmy Spencer radioed in. He said it feels like a flat tire. The crew's going to go to work. He's coming in. Oh, man. Fire, flat tire. Wow. You talk about heartbreak. And Jimmy Spencer's not in the Daytona 500 tomorrow. Caught up in an accident. It is qualifying race Thursday. This was his Daytona race for the weekend. Stop. Tucked the right rear. It's flat. So it's Michael Waltrip who's now in second behind Dale Earnhardt Jr. That comes a third. Jason Keller, the fourth. This is Jeff Harris in fifth. He's got Scott Riggs behind him in that 10 car. The 59 is a lap down. Stacy Compton. And you've got Shane Neal, Kevin LePage, Jack Sprague, and Casey Mears floating into the top 10. And Jimmy Spencer is going to get a stop and go penalty. I was afraid of that. When he left pit road, the right side tires were still on the outside half of the pit box. And there's a violation of the pit rules. You got to bring those tires back before you let the car go. Oh, Andy was speeding leaving pit road, too. Other than that, he did everything right. Mike McLaughlin. Rose. Pavement, Mike. Pavement. He's got the car back on the race. Well, he had the car back on the race track after that early accident, but obviously Mike trying to limp it back to the garage, it would appear. Last time at this racetrack, had a very similar situation, different cars. The Pepsi 400 last July. Michael Waltrip pushed Dale Earnhardt Jr. home to the victory. And I'm sure the junior is saying, all right, Michael, one more time. And I'm sure that Michael is saying, hey, it's my turn. I'll tell you the difference between that and this. Michael Waltrip owns this car. That, that is a difference in paydays for the team owner and the driver if he finishes second instead of first. To pit road, Matt. Well, we talked earlier in the show about Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s strategy. He's going with gas only and save a set of tires for a later caution. Well, they got the cost from the problem. Hardly anybody pitted. They didn't want to give up all that track position. And then they start thinking about it. Richard Childress says, stay out because you don't want to give up the track position. But then Junior says, look, he goes, if I've got 15 laps to go, he says, it only took me eight laps to go from 15th to 1st. He goes, I can do it or just stay out and just whip up on him. What do you want to do? And they said, okay, pit. Unfortunately, he'd already passed the entrance to pit road. Now he's going to have to hold off his Winston Cup teammate, Michael Waltrip, today. Matt, Michael Waltrip's 99 is the best it's been all day. It may be tough to hold off, but I just talked with Bobby Kennedy, the crew chief, and Bobby said that Junior radioed in and said, hey, don't let the 99 forget who helped him get his lap back. So who knows? Michael may defer to Junior. Marty? Well, Matt Kenseth was worried about his tire going down, and uh, he made contact with Jimmy Spencer. That's why Spencer's tire went down a little bit before that wreck happened last time. Matt's car continues to be a little bit tight, so he works better in the high lane, but he needs Jason Keller to go with him. That's his only hope to win the race. And we talked a lot about this about last year, about letting guys get the lap back. 
Yeah. They, uh, eventually, one of these races is going to bite one of these leaders to let the guy get his lap back. He's going to come back and beat you. All right, Tony, 10 laps to go. You're Michael Walship, you're Matt Kenseth. What do you do if you're in each of those situations? <laughs> if you're Matt Kenseth, you're kind of stuck right now knowing that Michael Walship and Junior are teammates. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what Michael's thinking right now. I mean, he's got an opportunity to win the race, but at the same time, uh, like you said, Junior was the guy that did help him get his lap back. So, uh, you know, it's a hard decision for Michael, but uh, you know, whatever decision he makes today, that may affect what happens tomorrow also. Ooh, there's a good point. But I tell you guys, in, this, in these top four cars we see right here, I don't think there's anybody wants this victory any more than Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the three car. And after all, this is Richard Childress's car. This is the three. This is basically the car that his, he thinks his daddy drove for, what, 20 years. He really, really wants this. I tell you what, if he can win this thing on the tires as old as they are, he'll be able to take that set and cut Social Security before this race is over. <laughs> Junior last stop for tires at lap 57. Unbelievable. 111 now. A lot of waving going on in that three car right now. Michael Walker backed up off turn four that time to get a run. What do you mean? A lot of waving. I think he's either waving Michael off or just telling Michael to stay in line. You get a lot of hand motions going on. And Tony can tell you, there's a lot of, you know, just stay in line or come with me. There's a few others that I won't mention, but... Um, <laughs> There's a lot of talking right now going on between these guys with hands. And it could be that Michael, if he gets too close to, to Junior going in, it could be making his car loose on the entry, so, uh, especially with the age of the tires. So, it, like you say, it's hard to tell what's exactly going through Junior and Michael's minds right now. Spoiler in this could be Jeff Purvis. Running fifth right now in that 37 car. We haven't seen Jason Kelly really with the muscle to get up there and challenge for the lead. But we know Purvis has the experience here at Daytona. He's won two ARCA races here. If he gets somebody behind him to push, he could get up there and really steer the pot. And he's got two hungry rookies behind him right now, Scott Riggs and Shane Neal. So they may just go with him if he pulls out. Seven cars in that lead group. Jimmy Spencer's taking his car to the garage. Yeah, I figured Jimmy wouldn't want to play after that. I mean, what's the use? Lap or two down. And he isn't racing for the championship, the points championship in the NASCAR Bush Series. 